Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I'm going to share with you how I print labels from my Dymo printer. So I'm going to just scroll. This is my uh, shipment that I have worked on and I clicked continue after I put in all my quantities and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now what I usually do is I will take this and print this um, onto a Word document so that I know what order all my labels are in. That way when it comes to figuring out what is what, it's easy to do that. So I'm going to click print labels for this page. Now when you first get a Dymo printer, if you do not have Adobe Acrobat Reader, then that's something that you will have to just download. Um, it always asks you to save it now. I always save it under the same name just because I don't want a bazillion um, documents on my computer. But anyway, um, once you download download Adobe Acrobat Reader, then you'll have the ability to see this. This screen basically um, is how you can print them if you have the 30 sheet per label set up. And since I have a Dymo printer and I print them one at a time, I don't exactly need that. So what I do is once the screen pops up, it automatically pops up the print box and if you notice, I X out of that. But this is very small. You can't read at all what the items are. And so what I usually do is I'll click this box right here and that will basically make the screen bigger so that one whole sheet is fitting in the entire screen. Now I use a Dymo printer because it uh, uses heat to print everything and that way I never ever have to buy uh, ink for my printer. Plus it just works very very quickly and then I can print as many as I want. I currently have 111 items in this current shipment. Well that's nice because I can print 111 labels and I'm not wasting any labels by using a 30 sheet count because then I have to print everything in increments of 30. So that also helps as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here over to edit um, click the edit drop down and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says take a snapshot. It looks like a little camera. Then once you click that you'll then have an X cursor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print my first item. Now um, this has all of my labels. A lot of people will downsize to just one at a time, but um, I just left it the same way because it's not that big of a deal. So Minecraft series um, ice what you're going to do is you're going to highlight basically inside the box. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then once you do that, you're going to come up here to your printer picture. Click that. Then it's going to open a box. Now currently Brother is my main printer that f does the 8.5 by 11 sheets. I'm going to change it to my Dymo. I have a Dymo label writer 450. And then if you notice, my image down here changed. And I usually always click uh, the actual size. If you click fit, it will make it bigger, which is ex the exact part that you edited out. I usually leave it on actual size because then it gives a little bit of extra space and I know that the boxes that I'm going to be putting, adhering these labels to are a little bit on the small side so it does make my label a little smaller and so that way I know my label's not going to come over the edge of a box. So once I have that, I can also, um, like let's say I have 10, I can just put this up to 10 and it'll do 10 in a row. Right now for this example I'm just going to print one. And so once you have your um, amount in and then you have all your settings, this is my basic settings that I always have. Orientation, portrait landscape, actual size, selected graphic is the one. So if for whatever reason it wants to print the entire page, check and make sure you have this more options selected graphic chosen. Then you simply click print and then you will be able to hear in the background it printing and it prints that fast. There's one label. And so that's all you have to do to print from your Dymo label printer. And then once you have them all printed, you simply close this Adobe Reader and then you can click continue to go on to the next page to figure out exactly um, what items go in what shipment. And you can do this from this page or um, verify your shipments and then do them from your verify shipment page. It always pops up the Acrobat Adobe Reader. But I hope this has been super helpful and I hope you can print from your Dible label writer very easily from now on. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.